as we hike towards the mighty Mordorach Glacier high in the Swiss Alps. So we can see the glacier now. There it is. Yeah. Even in its and, relatively uh, diminished state, it is extraordinary. Woo. As we near 7,000 feet, the air gets thinner. We're on the heels of scientist Leo Hosley doing his PhD work at Mordorach as we make the final scramble up. Wow, the sound of that. Yeah. We hear it before we see it. This is amazing. Made it. <laughs> That's cold. That is very cold. <laughs> Yeah, it's a really apparent sign of climate change. The glacier retreat is going to affect the water availability. And in the end, it all flows into the seas, right, into the oceans. And there it's going to affect sea level rise, and that affects a huge amount of people. European glaciers are melting faster than anywhere else on the planet. New research published in Nature Science Journal finds they've lost about 40% of their volume in the last 25 years equivalent to about three Olympic swimming pools every second. Researchers here have been measuring the dramatic retreat for more than a century. We've just walked the path of where the glacier used to be to get up here. The situation is dire and we can see that, but there's also a lot of ice up above me. and There's a lot of beauty that's worth saving. Across the border in Austria, glaciologist Andrea Fischer says it's too late to save Austria's glaciers in their current state. We will lose one third of the Austrian glaciers entirely during the next five years. Fisher brought an NBC News team here to Stubai Glacier back in 2005. There is no possibility to save glaciers without saving climate. Protective blankets covered the slopes then, but today she calls them glacier band-aids. And as we're talking... There's lots of debris coming down off this rock You can rock hear it face. right now, Yeah, actually. And now villages across the Alps facing a riskier, uncertain future. Back in May, a glacial slide obliterating the Swiss village of Blatten. Now the events are more often and stronger. And back on Mordorach, Hosley is remarkably still optimistic. Yes, they're melting, yes, they're retreating, but they're still incredibly beautiful. They're still large, they're still big, there's still huge amounts of ice here. And so it's not like it's a completely lost cause. There's still something to save here, right? Molly Hunter, NBC News on Mordorach Glacier in Switzerland. We thank you for watching. And remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.